how many of you have a Wi-Fi router? Most of you, I assume, what if I told you that your Wi-Fi router could spy on you, locate you in rooms of your own home, your posturing, your movements, and even capture what you're doing within the privacy of your own walls? Kind of creepy, right? Well, if you didn't know about this and want to know more about this emerging information or want to know a little bit more about it, stay tuned. If you're brand new here, welcome to our community where we give you prepping tips, emergency preparedness, how to's and news that affects you weekly. And if you find value in that and would like to stay up to date, hit the notification bell. Let's jump into this one. Okay, so I know you don't like the sound of this title on this video, but it's happening. A subscriber by the name of Tina sent this in and it disturbed me when I read through it and then she sent a validating website. It made me think this affects me and everyone and should know about this. So the first website she sent across titled scientists are getting eerily good at using Wi-Fi to see people through walls in detail. Now this comes from a website vice.com, which I don't know how credible that site is, but validated on extremetech.com, which is a little bit more science-based website. It says the signals from Wi-Fi can be used to map a human body according to the new paper. And this just came out in 2023. It's new news. So initially I was sitting there thinking, okay, I understand the cell phone can be used in a similar fashion, but your Wi-Fi router using the Wi-Fi to map you out in your own home, is that even legal? Before we get going, please hit the like button. It really helps out the channel and get that trigger finger ready for sharing this video. So as you can see in this image right here, this is off of the Vice website publication. Researchers at Carnegie Mellon University develop a method for detecting three-dimensional shape and movements of human bodies in a room using only Wi-Fi routers. So like I've been telling you in previous videos, the tech is getting a little bit out there. Like it's starting to impeach a little bit on our privacy and our freedoms. The article continues to read, to do this, they use a dense pose, a system of mapping all of the pixels of the surface of a human body in a photo. Dense pose was developed by London-based researchers and Facebook's AI researchers. Facebook, they got their hands in it. From there, according to the recently uploaded preprint paper, published on ARXIV, and you guys can look that up for yourselves. They developed a deep neural network that maps Wi-Fi signals, phase, and amplitude sent and received by routers to coordinate on human bodies. So how does this make you feel? If you have a router in your home, getting mapped out in your own home, and them being able to tell what you're doing. Researchers have been working on seeing people without using cameras or expensive LiDAR hardware for years. In 2013, a team of researchers at MIT found a way to use cell phone signals to see through walls. In 2018, another MIT team used Wi-Fi to detect people in another room and translate their movements into walking stick figures, much like this photo. Two paragraphs into this article, I was immediately thinking, how can I shut this down? How can I secure my privacy? Well, we'll talk about that in a minute. Carnegie Mellon researchers wrote that they believe that Wi-Fi signals can serve as an ambiguous substitute for the normal RGB cameras. When it comes to sensing people in a room, using Wi-Fi, they wrote, overcomes obstacles like poor lighting and occlusion that regular camera lenses face. Doesn't this make you feel like it invades your privacy a little bit too much? And here's where it gets real interesting. Interestingly, they position this advancement as progress in privacy rights. Justification, justification, they need to take care of you. In addition, they protect individual's privacy and required equipment can be bought at a reasonable price. So is that saying, we're gonna watch you and make sure that you stay safe. And if you don't wanna be watched, you're gonna have to buy some other equipment to block us. It goes on, in fact, most households in developed countries already have Wi-Fi at home, in which we do. And this technology may be scaled to monitor the well-being of elderly people or just identify suspicious behavior at home. Well, who gave them the license 
to monitor your situation at your own home in your own privacy. And this part right here tells you that they're not using it, but you know they are. They don't mention what suspicious behavior might include if this technology ever hits mainstream market. But considering companies like Amazon are trying to put ring camera drones inside our houses, it's easy to imagine how widespread Wi-Fi enabled human detection could be force for good or yet another exploration of our privacy. I don't even know what to say. Like that's like just taking it way too far. And validating this story on extremetech.com, their headline says researchers use cheap Wi-Fi routers to detect human posture. January 18th, 2023. And in this picture, you can see these guys, even with their posturing, even people in the background, this what it looks like a 2D or 3D sketch right here, Definitely, you can tell what people are doing, how they're standing. They could seriously tell where you're going and what you're doing. Now, I'm not going to go into this whole story altogether, but just initially they say Wi-Fi has freed us from wires, delivering increasingly speedy connectivity to our every corner of our homes and workplaces. Wi-Fi can do even more than that by beaming data back and forth. Through scientists from Carnegie Mellon University, have shown that an off-the-self Wi-Fi router can not only tell what you are in a room, but also determine your body position. And I know some of you guys are probably thinking, well, this is probably a really techy, expensive router. Wrong. The team didn't have time to spend big to get the hardware for this experiment. All they needed was a pair of entry-level routers that cost about 30 bucks a piece. I don't even think I've ever bought a router that was only 30 bucks. And it goes on to say that they're even measuring this off a 2.4 gigahertz signal transmission. And it, gives you, and it gives you more information down here. It says the estimation of body position can be eerily accurate. So how does that make you feel? Not good. I do not like the sounds of this. I didn't like the sounds of yesterday's video, but this takes it even a step further into my own home with my privacy and my rights and my freedoms. So like I said, what can we do about this? I don't even know. There's probably some techies out there and this is why our community is great because there's tons of you, hundreds of thousands of you and you guys all leave comments down below and I know that some of you techies out there have an answer for this or a way to be protected from this. Please put it in the comments down below so we can read through and figure out what to do because I'm sitting here thinking like, okay, well, I'll just put a Faraday cage or something crazy like that over my router. Well, what does that do? Cuts out your Wi-Fi. So anything that I have thought of to eliminate this ability once they tap into it, and they will because they've manipulated everything else, right? I don't know what you could do to protect yourself from that invasion of privacy. And like I said, this may or may not be happening out there, but you know how the techie world works. I'm sure that they could tap into this anytime they want it, and we would never know a thing about it, especially when they're throwing in there that they can monitor your safety. They can monitor any weird behavior that could be bad in your home. Back to the high ups taking responsibility of you, giving them the right to take control on what happens in your home. So like I said, please share this one. This is probably another avenue that they'll probably try to sneak under the rug on us. Let me know what you think. Techies out there, tell us what to do and what this means. And as always, I promise I'll keep you guys up to date when I find out interesting things like this. Stay safe out there. Keep prepping, keep learning, keep doing, guys. We'll see you on the next one.